This is Bumper to Bumper TV. This is the segment where Kia first made its name in the North American market. Rio is a compact that has evolved into a fairly decent platform. Its claim to fame is, of course, fuel economy, a pillar of pride for this group. Mechanically, the 1.6 liter gas direct injection engine has been tweaked to an 11.0 to 1 compression ratio, which delivers 138 horsepower and 123 foot-pounds of torque. Fuel economy ratings of 30 miles per gallon city and 40 on the highway give it bragging rights in this segment. So what? Nearly every compact gets good fuel economy. But what else does Rio bring to the party? The exterior follows the corporate design language seen in the Optima. The interior is wide enough for two adults to be up front and reasonably comfortable for two adults in the second row. But at this price point, we don't expect a lot of luxury. So some hard surfaces were something we came to expect. But yes, it can be loaded up with navigation systems and accept external MP3 players if that's what a buyer wants. We found the six-speed front-wheel drive transmission didn't trip over itself in a series of speed runs and open road tests. During those tests, we also found the electric power steering system retains the road feel normally associated with hydraulic operating systems. The base tire is a 15-inch wheel and the top of the line SX is a low-profile 17-inch unit that has a sportier feel, but there is no spare tire only an inflator kit. The benchmark in this niche has long been the Honda Civic, but Rio may become the new standard, at least until the next fully featured competitor comes along. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.